<laughs> Darn it. Dad gummit. So we'll give her another whirl here. Everything else looked fine. Well, I say let's give her another shot. Back over to the mill. this back over to 44 and go to 44 and actually go to 45 right there oh we got to reset it anyway because <clears throat> it's not going to be this it's not going to be right because we don't have the same stick out we'll have to set it each time Oop. so and I gotta set it off center line so drop back down to the zero come in here I was thinking I'd be, I'd be able to sneak Go back to the same settings, but that's not true. Let's turn this to zero. Well, this time, zero. is right there. Okay. Zero my X. 44. And if I roll toward, I can never get that right in my head. So I roll toward, I want to drop. So I got to drop 16. Oh. So Went on sixteen thousand. 
16 thou and we want to go on the half five five degrees toward the spindle am i doing that right because i think it's one quarter of the uh truth index All right, let's give her another whirl. And we're gonna go, this time we're gonna go this way, okay? So I gotta remember which way I'm indexing to. should be there this time. We shall see. Well, they, they look awful, awful thin though. Awful thin. But I went to the settings that it should be. Where did that gear go that I just, that we made it? Hmm, I laid it down somewhere. Oh, here it is. Here it is. The two fit to mesh together nicely though, except for where the teeth are missing. <laughs> so I think this is the ticket. It's just that my eyes are not what they used to be. But they they do mesh together nice. So I will continue. You know, I could make one on each end and then I wouldn't have to go back and forth so much. So now I go back in with the um, part off blade again and then turn the 250. Let's see what that 250 diameter turned out to be. It should be 250. Uh, see, see how well I hit that. 255 so just on a high a little on the high side darn it if i wouldn't have screwed up on the first first cut on that one that would have been a good one too i'd have had i'd have had one set made well like i said there's a lot of dinking around and there'd be a lot less dinking around if i had another 516 call i'm gonna look around and see if i can't find another 516 call it and then i'm gonna go ahead and do the number with the part off blade and then I'm gonna make one on each end and then I will be back and we'll cut some more well actually I'll just go ahead and cut them and uh, I'll be back when I get them all cut and then we can start replacing gears on uh, what I have over here you know with the plastic gears let's go over here let's go over here and play for a second or two for a minute or two. There's the one that I got the plastic gears in. Let's put some 
Let's put some juice in here. See, my wick is my wick is burnt down. I need to pull my wick out a little further. Need to pull this out a bit. Don't want to touch the wick on the glass, though. I learned my lesson there. I'll just make sure it doesn't touch the glass. Nope. We put some alcohol in. We'll give her. We'll give her a shot once. See if she'll run. It runs with those plastic gears, but they make noise. They're not as quiet. And I know that they're. I know that they're dragging. It would be a lot less drag if I. Replaced them with brass gears that ran decent. Set that under there for a second or two. I can take this tower off. The blade and tower. I keep saying we're going to make the blades next, and I haven't. <laughs> and each time I find something else to do. But I have the blades left to make and then finish up. The reason I wanted to go make uh, bevel gears is for the tail. Because those plastic gears will not fit in the tail. They have to be small like the ones that we're making. The ones we're making are pretty small. They're 300, they're supposed to be 303 thou in diameter. I'm leaving it at a 312. So, so they're a little slightly larger than what they're supposed to be at, but it's close enough. And uh, the shaft, the, the, the spud on the end I'm making is 250. So, not warm enough yet. It has to, you know, it has to, the glass has to heat up pretty good. There we go. And then if you drop the power on it. It runs at that gear. I might leave this alone and just do the tail with a small one. Because it does seem to run halfway decent. It'll slow down a little bit because we move it out here heats less of the glass. And I do, I would kind of like to take it apart just to try to straighten that flywheel. So I hate, I hate little, little motors that the flywheel is wigging because <laughs> that draws your eye there and it's just like, you know, and I could have swore that I, but I, you know what I think I did? I clamped on this and turn that and I think everything out here is running true to the OD of this not the ID so I might just run a 3 16th boring end mill through there and ream it out and make a thin sleeve to fit in there But it'll run now, I think, until it runs out of fuel because I ran it yesterday like this and it ran fine up until it ran out of fuel. The nice little Sterling engine there, even without the helicopter. I might have to make one like that, just freestanding. I like that, I like that uh, concept of using those gears and walk over to the flywheel. I think that's kind of cool. Anyway, 
This video is going to be super long if I put all of that uh, gear cutting in there. Um, so I should probably cut it, cut it short here. And so anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing the rest of the day here, rest of the evening here. Uh, it's about time I have to go in and do some babysitting, so I have much, much more time left in the shop. Um, what time is it? Four o'clock, about half an hour I got left. So, uh, catch you guys later. Okay, got, uh, 11 of them made. 11 gears made. Made one extra. So now I need to set up and put set screw hole in in each one so oh, we'll take and pull off the, the indexer first I'm gonna take my gear cutter out of there and, uh, I don't want to wreck that or have it get chipped or anything so I'm gonna take that out that away. Put that away first. He did a good job on him. So another job well done up for the cutter and no signs of wear on it. Of course it's only milling in. It hasn't milled anything but brass or aluminum so yeah. Stick that in my Cutter tube and put it away. Now next time. <clears throat> now we'll take this off of here, put that away. Work well. Put my angle block away. Put this stuff away. These clamps and blocks. And then uh, we'll dial in the vise and we'll set up to do those. And I'll cut away here. You don't need to see me putting away stuff. Okay, got the vise dialed in. I'm gonna set this tripod on the vise if I can. And we'll have to figure out how to weigh a clamp in them to put the set screw hole in. And put a that's not that parallel is too wide. Hmm, I know. Take this parallel, leave that in there, put another parallel, a narrow parallel in front. And then put another parallel that size in the back side. Kind of sandwich it. And then that way I can put my part in there. Like that. Like that. It's kind of like that. Now, how am I going to set a stop for them? So stop ain't going to reach out there. Stop's not going to reach out to it. So, let's get the stop put on there first. And then we'll figure it out. Stop on here and then we'll figure it out. Because if I go this way... If I go the wide way, maybe it'll catch it. Hmm. 
Uh, now it's too wide. Uh, all right. How about, I know, how about a jewel block? Will that work? Oh yeah, that'll work perfect. That'll lay on there. That'll work perfect. Tighten this up. Tighten this up. Now yeah, that'll work. Let's get this up there so it's just touching and it's, yeah, that'll work. It'll roll right up to the Let's see if I can try to figure out a way of getting the camera in there so you can see what's um, what's what I'm talking about here. All right, so I'm sitting down on a little parallel, and there's two parallels here, and then I got a Joe block here. It just so happens to be the right width, so I can pinch it. I don't want to pinch them too tight and ruin the gear. Alright, so now I gotta get this to the center of that. Do I just eyeball it? Drill chuck in. Doesn't have to be right on center because it's just a set screw hole and 172 is remember what the drill size is for that. I should, you think I'd remember that one because I use that. I've made that uh, thread a few times now. Um, number 53. Number 53 drill. Number 53 drill. I'm just going to bring it over the end and eyeball it on the diameter. Alright, so let's we'll just come over here. Let's we'll bring it down and eyeball it to where it's close to center. And about there. Here and about there. I get a center drill. A small center drill. And let's see what we can do. I want to move it down. Okay. Drill. I gotta go get a tab. Okay, I'm gonna tap. <clears throat> I just put that one away. Yeah. 
it had been laying here and I didn't want to uh, break them <clears throat> so I put it away pick, pick one out put it in a little handle My brother's doing real well with the virus, so he's, I think he's pretty much got her licked. So, so that's a good thing. What's going on here? Huh. Is this a 172 or is this something else? I just grabbed it out of the 172 box. I put the wrong grill away. I bet I did. <clears throat> it looks bigger for some reason. Oh, yeah, I, I grabbed a 256 box. <laughs> yeah, these are all 256. I want a 172. I'll be right back. Probably would help if I have the right tap, huh? What do you think? I bet it will. I bet it'll work better. <laughs> All right. Let's try this again. We'll tighten it up on the. Tighten the little handle up on it. And I bet it'll work better. Yes, much better. I have a bunch of 172 pan head screws that I'm going to use. Pan head? No, they're not pan heads. Uh, not sure. Filster head? Anyway. Let's get the screws out and we'll see if they can, if it'll work on the shaft the way it's supposed to. Where did I put the screws at? It's this style, this style head. I'm not exactly sure what it's called anymore. <laughs> don't remember. Philister is the one that has a little straight wall. These are just like a crown, are crowned all the way. I will take a shorten them up, but that's, let's get a piece of shaft put in there. 
well it tightens up. I checked this the other flywheel here in in the lathe and it seems to this one seems to run true. I don't know what happened to the other one there, why it's if I can get this on. Okay, so it's like that. Naturally, the screw's sticking to stick way out because it's, I gotta shorten it, but that'll work. Tighten it down, and it looks like it's working just fine. Oh, these aren't the ones I was that I was going to use. <laughs> ah. That's why it's so long. These other ones, they're a little bit shorter. They're like less. So let's put one of these in there instead. Let's see what it looks like. But I still got to shorten them a little bit. They're just a tad too long. These here are Allen screws. Um, Buttonhead Allen screw. 172. And I wasn't, wasn't planning on using those. I got it stuck in there. All right, let's get the let's get the screw out that I was going to use, or get that started in there. That's a uh, straight screwdriver. I might have to go get the screwdriver. I got to go get the screwdriver. My fingers won't won't work. And the screw, I got the screwdriver magnetized. Um, hopefully, it's still magnetized. Yep, that way it can it'll hold the screw for me. Just put the screwdriver in the slot. And it should stay there. I can't do it on camera because the camera is on the vice and I'm doing it off to the side here. There, that looks a little bit better. A little bit better anyway. Whoop. But I'll still shorten it up by a few threads there. Because I got it turned into where it's just breaking, breaking through. So, all right, let's do some more. Let's quit playing around here and, and get this done. So I can start putting stuff together. Um, I get these on there and start putting together. Check that mo the second motor, make sure it runs and everything. And then... Uh, We'll, we'll finally start on the blades that I keep saying that, yeah, we're going to work on the blades next. And <laughs> Let me push that up against that stop. Ah! Push too hard. Don't push like a mule. Tighten that center drill. Some of these, the uh, underside is a little longer, the tail is longer. That just means I'll end up having to put a little less bushing underneath it. I wasn't real careful on turning the lengths, I just Turn the length. I didn't pay attention to what length I turned.
I didn't think it mattered too much, so whatever it came out to be is what it is. <laughs> if I have to shorten them, I will, but I doubt it. I'll have to put spacers underneath yet, even, even making them a little longer. Well, I got two down. Oh, poop. <laughs> I want my parallel, or my gauge block. Yeah, there it is laying. Um, and I don't suppose my magnet and a screwdriver will pick that up. Ah. Dad, the gummit. <laughs> Well, you see what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and continue on. I got them all in a little tub here. I'll get them all drilled and tapped, and then we'll start putting together the second one. 